The culture of the ancient Phoenicians was one of the first to have had a significant effect on the history of wine. Phoenicia was a civilization centered in current day Lebanon. Between 1550 BC and 300 BC, they developed a maritime trading culture that expanded their influence around most of the Mediterranean lands, spreading their knowledge of viticulture and winemaking. They also spread the use of amphora, often known as Canaanite jar, for the transport and storage of wine. But how were they sealed? An amphora was originally sealed with a clay stopper. Glass bottles began to be used in the 17th century. But the problem of sealing them had yet to be solved. Initially, their stoppers were sometimes made of glass, making them tricky to remove. The final breakthrough came only with the discovery of cork, cut from the bark of Spanish and Portuguese oak trees, an ideal substitute, being cheaper to manufacture than glass and making a tighter seal. These are cork oak trees. They're so special. They've been protected under Portuguese law since 1209, so harvesters have strict rules to follow. The trees can't be touched for the first 15 years of their lives. But how to remove the cork? The earliest reference to a device was in 1681, which describes a steel worm. They were originally used to remove bullets lodged in the barrels of rifles after a misfire later called a bottle screw, before the term corkscrew was settled on. By the late 1980s, however, the awareness of TCA, or mould on the cork, was growing. They also had hassles with crumbling, breaking or leakage. Because of this, the wine industry had begun seeking alternative bottle closures to improve quality and prevent costly financial losses due to bad corks. By some estimates, about one bottle in a case of 12 suffers from cork taint. By the end of the 1980s, a number of winemakers and drinkers had had enough. Work had begun on a number of alternative closures and competition kicked the cork industry into action. The time had come for change. Enter the screw cap in the 1980s, when cork taint started getting a lot of attention. Folks, don't be put off by a screw cap. It's a safer bet if you want to guarantee that your wine comes out as it was meant to. And don't be surprised if you find a higher dollar bottle with a screw cap on it. Actually in Australia, some of the most expensive wines are coming with screw caps on them. You know, sometimes tradition is just hard to change. In the words of our very own winemaker extraordinaire, Gunther Brosel. I am convinced that this screw cap, a hermetical closer, to the improvement of good wines is what I like.